Hi everyone, Sitter here. Welcome back to War World of Final Fantasy. As I jump back into it today, um, obtained a Coliseum ticket for mining for Mo, and I got a secret memory. It said it was for Omega God. Like, okay. <laughs> huh? What's up, sis? Oh, it's probably nothing. I just have a strange feeling. Kind of familiar, but also kind of scary. And, um, I assume that's maybe, like, free DLC that was given out? That's my guess. We're going to continue on our journey, though. Teleport Stone. The Teleport Stone. Teleport Stone can be used as many times as you want. That's awesome. To whisk you back to the entrance of a dungeon faster than you can blink. Unfortunately, it's a one-way trip. But the stone can come in handy when you need to swap in mirages or return to Ninewood Hills for a breather. That's handy. Hi! If a monster puts you to sleep, you won't be able to do anything while you're dozing. You can hit your own allies to wake them up, but if that doesn't sit well with you, another option is to use a pick-me-up. Here, you can have this one. Obtained a pick-me-up. I'm used to that being an item that gets rid of revive. <laughs> that revives a party member. <laughs> That's a reference to a, an older RPG for the SNES. If you get it, let me know in the comments. Sleep is a suspect where you just don't do anything. You just sit there. If you get hit by a physical attack, you will wake up. Magic, not so sure. Uh, it depends on, depends on the series, depends on the game. But, because of that, you can actually knock one of your party members awake by hitting them with a physical attack. However, that means you damaged your own party member, so you have to make sure you're not going to accidentally knock them out, or you're not going to do a lot of damage. Typically, this is really useful for units that don't do a lot of damage with a physical attack, like mages. They typically don't do a ton of physical damage. They can, with right equipment and things like that, but compared to other classes, they don't. So you can knock the fighter awake, for example. To the ice region. <clears throat> Chapter 6. Solace from the ice. Soyona must be across the ice fields. Uh, I'm freezing my butt off out here. No kidding. Hey, let's take shelter at that in there. That sounds like a pretty good idea. It's an inn. But first... Well... I want to, but... <laughs> Shirlata Solace. Can we stop at the end before my ears to freeze off? <laughs> oh! Because it's for, uh, Lilykin. <laughs> oh, I like the keys. That's cool. They're like little crystals. Hi! Oh! Our first guests in a while! Welcome to... Sherlotta Solace. Sherlotta. Nice to meet you. <sighs> so much warminess. Oh, um, hello there. Would it be okay if we rest here for a little bit? Sure. The Solace wouldn't be much of an inn if we turned away freezing travelers. True. Thank goodness. Oh, we don't see very many giants these days. Hi. Lon, what are you- Whoops. Uh. Oh, she doesn't really seem all that shocked. Hmm? Oh, well, I'm sure some folks would make a fuss. But I remember a time when giants wouldn't warrant a second look. It's only lately your kind has truly gotten scarce. But even then, I doubt anyone's eyes have been popping out. Well, now that you mention it, I guess not. Ah, don't give it a second thought. Everyone is welcome under my roof. Although nice. it would help if you did a little shopping. 
before you go on your merry way. And there's Good the sail. Idea. I wonder if she's got anything to keep us warm. That would help. But you know what? She was nice enough. We really should, uh... <laughs> we should buy. Yeah, she was nice enough not to turn us away. Or She said she wouldn't be much of an in, which is true. But she could have gotten all freaked out with Lon. Um, so we should be nice enough and buy something. I don't have another large mirage. Pick me up. Remove sleep. There's the teleport stone. Vow for Memento, secret memory. Unlocks a secret mini venture in the girls' tea room. Let you challenge Minnie in the Coliseum and Mo in the Coliseum. Okay. And the tip jar probably just has the uh, combined abilities, which I never, which I went over, but never got through here. Support abilities, teleport zone. Sorry, I haven't gone over this in a little while. <laughs> Two seconds, okay. What's this? Ooh, is this for warming up? Oh, this looks nice and toasty. Excuse me, how much do you want for this? Hmm? Wait a sec. Tell me you're not planning to cross the ice fields. We kinda have to get to Seronia. <sighs> Forget it, don't even bother. Uh oh. Making the trip at this time of year would be difficult enough on its own. But for a while now, the ridge has been overrun by nasty mirages. No traveler is safe. Giant or Lilikin, you would be torn right to pieces. <laughs> oh, yeah? We can handle some mirages. You can just point us right at those suckers. <laughs> huh? Oh, you see, we're mirage keepers. And we're actually on a journey right now to gather as many of them as we can. Right? Yes, the siree! Oh, wow! We have had a lot of guests over the years, but you two are definitely my first ever Mirage Keepers! Uh, excuse me? Hmm? Um, sorry to intrude. My name is Refia. It's Refia! Hi! You see, I've been stuck here in the inn for a while now, because of all the mirages in Icicle Ridge. Refia! Are you certain about this? Yes. I've made up my mind. <sighs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> I won't stop you. Honestly. <sighs> hey, Mirage Keepers. Mm -hmm. Yes? You did say you're on your way to Seronia, right? That's right. In fact, you might say that we're on a mission of sorts for Cornelia. So we can't stay here long. True. Good grief. I must be the only one around here with a lick of sense. Okay, fine, you win. But at least take along the Warlock's warmer. In exchange, I want you to let Refia here go along on the trip with you. She knows a bit of white magic. You can't say no to that. Indeed she, she does. Wanna... Hey, no skin off my nose. Or mine. Besides, if she can use white magic, she'd really be doing us a favor. Great, everybody wins. So, if that's settled... Why not rest up before you go? Obtain the Warlock's Warmer. I guess this will help keep us warm in all the, uh, all the snow. Revia says Icicle Ridge is due north of the end. Well, that's where Normally we're going. Normally I would have charged you through the roof for that Warlock's Warmer. Just so you know. Fair enough. <laughs> if you have any mirages that use fire magic, they should make the trip through the ridge a little easier. That makes a lot of sense. Before we uh, move on, <laughs> a rename prism. You could use the rename prism to change a mirage's name whenever you want. It's reusable, so there's no need to hold back. Wow, really glad we grabbed that. <laughs> if we ever went to change the, uh, ever went to change name, we can. Kitty. It is happy. <laughs> it's just going to sit there. It's warm on the couch. Oof. Examine. To those who aspire to magic, learn this legend by heart and stay devoted to your daily studies. Birth from womb of Dragon's Maw 
and born unto the stars, by light and darkness cast aloft, our dream tide oaths resworn. Moon is swathed in everlight, never again to no eclipse, earth with hallowed bounty reconciled. Sounds like a familiar legend to me, but maybe you don't Normally know. Normally I would. If you don't, don't worry. We'll get there. So, uh, Riffia actually does know a bit of of white magic. <laughs> she might be uh, familiar to some of you. If not, don't worry. We'll get to know her better, I'm sure. The cold doesn't seem half as bad now. Thank you, magic warmer thingy. You're right. I think we'll be able to cross the ice now. Saronia, here we the come! Okay, since we are in an ice place, fire magic will be really useful. Let's see if everybody knows some. We know Foxfire for sure. I don't think anybody else will. The Black Knack does. He knows Fire Fang. Or Red Fang. Let's change things up a bit. It's okay, Choco Chick. You're going to stay in the party. Don't worry. <laughs> We're just going to use the Black Knack for now. Choco Chick will still get some EXP. It'll fall a little bit behind some of the others, but that's okay. You can catch up pretty fast. Warm pouches that have been filled with fire spell stones. Makes sense. I mean, look, the baby Hemoth is already level 10, so... Alright, let's get going. I expected the next area to be kind of like right there, but... Whoa! Is that the ridge they were talking about? It looks like the icicles have formed a bridge across the ravine. Icicle Ridge. There's only one the way to Saronia, and that's through this ridge. Is that the Mirage she mentioned? Stay close to us, Refia. Okay? Okay. Alright. There is a... Uh, we can travel here, which is good. We need to go somewhere. Uh, I actually will travel back to Ninewood Hills really quick. And that's just so I can save here. My senses are the telling me some kind of door has appeared in Ninewood Hills. Maybe that was that uh, secret memory we got. What's this thing? What is that thing? It sure looks like a door, but does it even go anywhere? Hello? Let's check it out. What? Hey! Uh, what? Where are we now? Visitors? What an unusual surprise. Hi. Um, who are you? And where are we? My name is... Huh? Who's right there on the tip of my tongue? Use it or lose it, I suppose. Girl who forgot her name. Oh, but this is my tea room. So who are you? Will you join me for tea? Uh, well... You might say that we're sort of passing through, but I'm Lon, and this is... It's Rain, and my brother and I are from Ninewood Hills. Lon and Rain from Ninewood Hills. <gasps> of course! I had a dream about this. I saw the two of you come here. Today's the day. Huh? Right. I think I might know why you've come here. Shall we get started? Uh... 
Sorry, come again? You know what me and Rain are doing here, even though we don't have the slightest clue? Mm-hmm. Your keepers looking for new mirages. You've come to touch the souls of your friends, their past, present, and future, to step into their shoes and fight when mirages threaten them and they need you most, to sway them towards success. Correct? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Dude. Sounds good, though. That was a lot of words. Hey, Rain, you follow that? Uh-uh. Nope. I am officially lost. So, whose soul will you touch? Intervention quest. Intervention quests are special quests you can access from the girl who forgot her name's tea room. During these quests, you will reach out to the souls of friends and help them in their hour of need, whether that hour falls in the past, present, or future. In addition to meeting new mirages, you'll receive rewards for completing the quest. The Warrior of Light's Champion Medal has been unlocked. You can purchase it from the girl who forgot her name. Well, I'm glad that I uh, stopped by Ninewood Hills. <laughs> so let's save real quick and... Hello. What now? Trade in Arma Gems. Hey, what are these Arma Gem things? Hmm? You found some armor gems? We're not exactly sure what they're for, but we did turn up a few. That's good. They have great value here. You can think of those gems as a kind of token. Token? Yes. In order to touch another's soul, or to tamper with time, first, you must offer compensation. Hence the armor gems. Tokens you can pay in recompense. Oh, so the more we find, the more stuff we can do here. Hmm, right. But isn't that kind of dodging the question? Okay, they're tokens, but where do they come from? You needn't wonder about every little thing. Huh? <laughs> the world has some secrets. You're simply better off not knowing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be my reaction to, okay. Armor gems can be surprisingly tricky to track down, but they're worth the effort because the girl who forgot her name can use them to unlock some very special quests. Speak to her on the other side of the door in Ninewood Hills. Between the quest and champion medals, you'll have plenty of reasons to burn through your armor gem supply. So where do you get more? Here's a little tip. Armor gems are easier to find in special places. Good luck! I'm taking a break now. What now? Which champion would you like to awaken? Uh, we have seven armor gems and the warrior of light takes two. Okay, we have five gems left. What's this stuff about invoking champions? With invocation, you can call upon the mediums you've met for help. And then they will fight alongside you in the field of battle. Dude, what? Really? Really. The catch is, you can only invoke their power for a very limited time. Basically, they pop right in and push right back out. Pop. Push. Got it. <laughs> hmm. All the same, the fact that we can invoke them at all, it sounds pretty useful. Yeah, it'll make collecting mirages way easier. All right. But there are restrictions. First, not all mediums are champions. They must awaken to their true potential before you can invoke them. Like we did with the Furthermore, Warrior of Light. Some champions awaken in stages, and each to their own abilities. You'll need armor gems to awaken them, and you'll want to put some thought into who you're going to invoke, and at what time for that matter. Uh, yeah! And invoking isn't free. You have to bend all kinds of divine rules to pull it off, which means more compensation. And I guess we can't pay in Arma Gems? Not the gems. Use those here to awaken champions. To invoke, you'll have to store up a different kind of tender. Why don't you think of it as a kind of gauge? When you have enough champion points, you can invoke them. Oh, that's super easy to understand. So, how do we go about storing champion points then? 
Wear down your souls. Huh? Get hit. To put it simply, the gauge fills when you're hurt and when you defeat mirages. Um, right. Okay. So basically, all we have to do is keep fighting. Correct. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I won't overthink it. Oh, one thing. Many champions can be found across Grimoire, but you will only be able to call upon three of them at any given time. Think carefully about the situation and choose the champion suited to the task at hand. But why? It takes a lot of connecting the dots to make sure they can reach you. Unfortunately, three is the most that I can handle. But if you're willing to offer up your souls as additional portals, then I could arrange something. I am pretty sure there's no way that can be good, so we'll pass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's no way that could be good either. Mediums and champions. Among Grimoire's denizens, there are a select few born with the potential to become powerful heroes, as we've seen. With the right stimuli, these mediums learn to channel their power and awaken as Grimoire's greatest defenders, champions. Now that Cornelius Brigade Captain has awoken as the legendary Warrior of Light, it's safe to say he must have been one such medium. If you have the Warrior of Light's Champion Medal, you can invoke his power and summon him to your side in battle. You never know who's really a medium in disguise, but as long as you treat the folks you meet right, their powers are sure to come to light. Champion Medals To obtain new Champion Medals, visit the Tea Room on the other side of the Strange Door in Ninewood Hills. There, you can trade in Arma Gems for new medals. Arma Gems turn up in a variety of places, but only ever so rarely. Think carefully before spending them. You can carry up to three champion medals into battle. Use the game menu to select which champions you want in your corner. So we can carry three medals into battle. Of course, all we have right now is the champion of light, but that's okay. The champion gauge. Champion gauge determines whether or not you can invoke champions in battle. The gauge fills up while you fight, to a maximum of three stars. Keep in mind each that each champion requires a different number of stars to summon. So you can see it's circled there in green that there are three stars. At first, summoning a champion across Grimoire appears as a miracle, an act of God. But didn't, quote, God, unquote, tell you she was helping? Anacros? <laughs> Perhaps there's a mechanism to this miracle. One that requires paying a great price. The armor gym? <laughs> Good morning. What now? Intervene? Oh, the quest. Whose soul will you touch? The girl who forgot her name. Oh, and it takes, uh... It takes the armor gems as well. Resist accuracy down C. A bridge's woes. Anacros has dropped in on Big Bridge Alexander, and they're having a blast talking about the good old days. Sadly, this wasn't just a social call. There's business to attend to. Anacros rolls up her sleeves and gets to work, pulling out the cogna that's been hiding inside Big Al. And the girl who forgot her name. The Warrior of Light patrols the streets of Cornelia, keeping good citizens safe. In other words, just another day on the job. But it looks like today's going to be interesting, for he spots a suspicious figure on the castle walls. And we get three ethers for that. Um, we'll come back. Well, yeah. I want to save the gems for Goodbye. now. Champion medals. And there's Sephiroth for the uh, pre-order. <laughs> but we're not equipping him, so. Oversoul. Inflict neutral physical damage. Bypasses defense. Also bestows defense up to all allies. Uh, Oversoul has been used in a few uh, of, of the uh, Dissidia games, the two that are there, to give the Warrior of Light the equivalent of a limit break from newer Final Fantasies. 
um, because they didn't have anything like that back then. Warriors just swung their sword and then eventually learned to use a little bit of healing magic. Um, <laughs> so, had to give him something. So this is basically him pouring the light into his blade, powering up and swinging. Um, a very powerful attack. So we'll take the Warrior of Light with us. Sandra, why aren't you equipping Sephiroth? Because I don't like him. So... <laughs> There's the Armor Gems. And the Intervention Quest. Okay, that was a lot of fun. I'm really glad we did that. We'll save. And just hear that. One of your mirages has unlocked the joyride ability. You can hitch a ride on it as long as it's in your lineup. It might let you get around them more quickly. It might let you access some new of the places. It might to help you find cool stuff. Or it might not to let you do any of those things. <laughs> Sometimes the joyride ability is just there because it's the fun. Give it a try and you might be the surprised. Thanks, Thomas. I like every time you come into this area, Thomas says something like that. It's like uh, hints. They're you know, telling you about stroll or joyride or different things. Morning, noon, and brunch. I'm there with a choco smile. Welcome to the Chocolate Mart! See if there's any new things here. Bomb Fragment deals a small amount of fire damage. Small amount of thunder damage, ice damage, water damage, wind damage, earth damage, and things we already see. Fire Seed, which could be useful because you will learn fire. <laughs> which will be useful in the area coming up. Blizzard Seed, Thunder Seed, Water Seed, Arrow Seed, Cure Seed, you need to learn cure balance seed libra seed if you want a, another mirage to learn libra and every chocobo's favorite food gosh your brains i will buy five of those the seeds are super useful but i'm gonna hang on to my cash thank you and move on Actually, before we walk back on our journey, since we had all of this just get dropped in on us <laughs> between the uh, the champion medals and the all the plot, um, not really any fights, so um, not as much editing for me. So I'm just going to end this episode here, so it doesn't go go really long or be really short. Um, next time we will cross the icicle ridge and see how that goes we'll probably meet some new mirages which will be a lot of fun and we'll have to test out the warrior of light at some point all that and more i hope you had a lot of fun with this episode let me know what you think of the uh, girl who forgot her name and the tea room i think we're going to be able to do a lot of things there sounds really interesting um especially if just like today, just randomly, hey, you get this stuff. And I don't know, again, if that was just a some free things that Square Enix gave out or, or what. But uh, they constantly give new, new battles and things like that. I think that could be a lot of fun. Till the next episode, I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.